Hey guys, welcome back to Cardboard Showcase. Uh, this is Mike. Uh, today's video, just going to go over some of the uh, recent pickups that I've made. Uh, it's been probably three weeks uh, since I've done one of these, and so I've got a lot of new cards in, and I wanted to share them with you guys. Uh, so let's go ahead and get started. Uh, so these first cards, this is actually a lot uh, that I picked up of uh, the new 2019 Allen and Ginter. Um, so I love base rookie cards, um, so I tried to pick up uh, some rookie cards of uh, the Big Hot Rookies this year. So we've got this one. This is the uh, 2019 Allen and Ginter. This is the uh, gold uh, parallel or variation of Aloy Jimenez. Um, so good looking card. Really like these Allen and Ginters, uh, especially the base rookies. Um, I usually don't buy a hobby box of this. I just pick up the cards that I like because um, you get to a lot of random cards in Allen and Ginter that you know just aren't really my cup of tea. But uh, Base rookies and some of the big stars. Uh, this is great photography, great looking cards. So I got uh, three, three of the Jimenez, one gold, and then two just uh, base. Also picked up three of the Vlad Guerrero Juniors. Uh, good looking card. Other big rookie this year, Tatis Junior. So picked up two of his, and Pete Alonso, uh, home run. Derby winner, uh, just killing the ball right now. And uh, so yeah, I ended up getting four of his. So this was all a lot. So I was really excited to pick all those cards up at once. Uh, this is a really good pickup. I've been trying to get one of these for a while. Um, hopefully it comes shows through on camera. This is the Rainbow Foil. Um, so this is the 2018 Tops Update, uh, Ronald Acuna Jr. rookie card. Um, and this is, yes, yeah, so they said the Rainbow Foil. I think that's showing up on camera okay. But uh, I did not have one of these in my collection, so really excited to send this off to uh, PSA and uh, see what we get. You know, outside shot at a 10, but uh, most likely a 9. Just uh, it's a little rough around the edges, but, you know, you never know. But gorgeous card. Really wanted to add this to my uh, Kuna collection, and uh, so really excited to have picked that one up. And, yeah, I'm going to get that one out to PSA here hopefully real soon. Uh, another pickup. Uh, this is 2018 Tops Series 1. This is the uh, SSP of Mookie Betts. Um, so I love uh, super short prints and short prints, and I was building the complete 2018 Tops uh, super short print set, and I did not have this one. And uh, this one rarely comes up on eBay, and it's you know impossible to pull. Um, so I saw this come up, I immediately jumped on it, and uh, really glad to add this one to the uh, to the collection. So. One uh, another short print. This is 2019 tops. Uh, so this is Ozzy Albies. Uh, this is just the uh, standard SP short print of a series from series two. Uh, good looking card. There's a few of these cards here at the Red Carpet Show. I believe Trout and uh, Judge. There might be a couple others. Uh, Charlie Blackman, I believe. Uh, their short prints are all on the red carpet. Um, so good looking card. And then if you watch some of my other videos, uh, you know I've been trying to finish off the uh, Top Series 2 Super Short Print set. Um, so these are 2019 Series 2, and these are the Super Short Prints. You can tell by that code 32 right there. Um, and I needed these last two cards to finish off the set. So I now have uh, all the cards for the uh, Super Short Print set for Top Series 2, and it's all these uh, legends. So Melot. And stay unusual will uh, finish that off for me. So really excited to pick those up. Uh, a couple other pickups. Um, Josh Bell, some rookie cards. Uh, did not have any of these uh, Josh Bell rookie cards. This was uh, I really didn't get back into collecting until about two years ago. Um, so I just missed 2017 tops, and these are both uh, 2017 tops. One is the just regular base tops rookie, you know and. Not a huge pickup, but you know, if I can get back in a 9 or a 10, that's a decent card. And then the uh, Topps Chrome, and this is the Prism Refractor. Uh, not numbered, but still gorgeous looking card, great shine, like that Prism Refractor effect on it. And uh, so I didn't have any Josh Bell rookies, so I wanted to pick that up. And the guy's having such a great year, uh, I think he's only going to keep going up, so I wanted to pick those up early. Really excited for these next two pickups. Um, I really like the Topps Golds. Um, I believe uh, if you watch YouTube a lot, Filmington just did a video all about these two. Um, he's a big fan of the Topps Gold as well. And I did not have these two. These are 2018 Topps Update Golds. Uh, so the Soto is number 1256 out of 2018. And the Glyber Torres 
884 out of 2018. Um, so really excited to add those two to the collection. Love these uh, these rookie cards, especially the Tops Update, and these golds are great. And uh, these are two of the biggest young stars in baseball right now, so really excited to add both of those. Uh, sticking with the golds, this is 2019 Tops. This is Series 1, or excuse me, Series 2. Uh, so this one is uh, Tatis, uh, his gold rookie, number 198 out of 2019. Great looking card. And picked up two of the Pete Alonzo. So really think these cards got a huge future. If this guy just keeps killing the ball like he is, um, these are going to be some great cards in a couple years. They're already getting up there in price. You're already 45 to 50 bucks a piece. But uh, great looking cards. And so these two are numbered... Uh, 128 and 1664 and then even better than the gold are the blacks super excited i was able to get this card um, i love the black refractors they're probably my my favorite variations that uh, tops does um, so i try to pick up as many black refractors as possible and so i was really excited that i was able to get this pete alonzo uh, so this is numbered out of 67 34 out of 67 um, so these black rookie refractors are just uh, huge cards. Um, gosh, I think Acuna's from last year is selling for well over twelve hundred to fourteen hundred bucks. Uh, and so this is a gorgeous card. You know, I think Alonzo's got a huge future. So yeah, really excited to add this collection. Can't wait to send this one off and uh, and get it graded. Sending this one out for sure. Uh, a few more black refractor pickups. Um, we've got. Also 2019 tops, Ozzy Albies. Gorgeous uh, picture there. Got that future stars at the top. Looks really good. So that one is 25 out of 67. Uh, got the Yelich Black, reigning NL MVP. That one is 23 out of 67. Chris Bryant, uh, Black Refractor. Uh, like I said, always one of my, my favorite players. So really excited to get this one. Uh, that is 23 out of 67. And then another black, this is the uh, Powerful Pair. So that's Stanton and Judge, also uh, 33 out of 67. Then uh, picked up a couple Judges variations from 2019 Tops. Got his black here. Um, so that one is numbered 4 out of 67. And then also picked up the uh, Independence Day variation. So it's got that uh, American flag motif. And these are numbered out of 76. So there's 9 out of 76. Couple more Independent Day variations. Uh, this is just a awesome looking card. Love that fire in the background shooting up. And uh, so this is the Otani Gets Hot with the Japanese on there as well. So Trout and Otani. And this one is numbered 15 out of 76. And then picked up the Brandon Lowe Independence Day variation. Uh, Brandon Lowe having a terrific rookie season. Doesn't get all the press of some of the other big rookies like Tatis and Alonzo and uh, Guerrero and and Yoloy Jimenez and some of these other guys that are just killing it. But Lowe is quietly having a rookie of the year type campaign in the AL. Um, stands a good shot at winning the rookie of the year this year. Um, but, you know, you don't hear nearly, at least I don't hear nearly as much about him as as some of these other guys. But gorgeous card, great player. And uh, so that one is number 24 out of 76. Uh, some more base rookie pickups. So these are the complete set variations of the big rookies. So there's Eloy Jimenez, Pete Alonzo. I uh, got two of these Tatises, uh, Kikuchi. And then Vlad Guerrero actually had two variations in the complete set, so I got one of each of those. And so you can tell here at the back, underneath the number, it says complete sets. So I believe these are only available if you buy the uh, Topps complete set box. You can uh, pull these. So I was able to pick all those up on eBay fairly cheap, and uh, glad to add those. Another great pickup, uh, Pete Alonzo Rookie Auto. So this is the 2019 Stadium Club. Good, clean auto, gorgeous looking car. This is not any of the numbered variations. This is just the, the base auto, but gorgeous card. And uh, yeah, I think this is going to keep going up in value. A great pickup, also Pete Alonzo. This is the orange refractor. And this card, I don't know if the camera can do it justice, um, but it's got gorgeous shine. It's got that orange hue to it because this is the orange variation, and this one is numbered. Out of 99, so this is number 95 out of 99. 
Um, so great card. And uh, the fact there's only 99 of these, I think this is going to keep going up in value as long as Alonzo keeps hitting the ball like he is. Uh, a couple more Alonzo rookies. These are just the base. Uh, 2019 Stadium Club base rookies. Got a couple of those. And then also picked up the variation. So this is the uh, short print variation of Alonzo 2019 Stadium Club. So good looking card. And you can tell... Same thing, the code at the bottom, so 805 is the variation, where 768 is the base. So if you see that 805, that is the image variation. So there's Alonzo's image variation rookie. Uh, a couple more uh, image variations that I picked up. Like I said, I always hunt for variations. It's one of the favorite things of mine that I collect. And uh, so Stadium Club has awesome variations. They already have great photography, and then to get the variations, it's even uh, uh, even more awesome. So this is these are all variation prints. So there's Cal Ripken Jr., um, Meyer Ana Rivera, great with that cowboy hat. Juan Soto's variation uh, getting doused again. I think he's got a few cards where he's getting doused with Gatorade or water. So it's kind of his uh, go-to variation, I guess, for tops. But that's the variation for this year. Uh, this is another rookie variation, Eloy Jimenez, with the sunglasses. Uh, Sandy Koufax, my man Chris Bryant, sitting in the dugout in the snow. Uh, great looking card here, Mookie Betts playing golf. Uh, Christian Yelich variation. Uh, this one, this is probably the hottest variation for Tate Stadium Club this year, this uh during the All-Star game, Trout, Judge, and Betts taking a selfie out there in the outfield. So, yeah, this is a, this is a huge card, uh, 805 right there. Um, so really excited to get that one. Uh, there's two of these, actually, here at the, uh, the BBWAA. So I believe that's the Baseball Writers Association of America Awards. So Otani and Acuna's uh, variations, they're both uh, at the podium there at the BBWAA's. Um, those are both variations. Another rookie variation. Here's Tatis, his uh, rookie image variation. Gorgeous card. Love that uh, photography on that one. There's Judge, his variation. Great background. Carlos Correa, variation. And Derek Jeter, 2019 Stadium Club variation. Uh, a couple other stadium club pickups. Uh, this is just one of the most awesome pictures I've seen on a baseball card in a long time. Edgar Martinez uh, holding those three flaming bats. Uh, they're on fire behind him. And this is the rainbow parallel. Um, so this is numbered out of 25, I believe. Yeah, number 15 out of 25. So gorgeous card. absolutely love this photography of these bats on fire. is just awesome. And uh, to get that uh, nice rainbow shine on it. And a low number down to 25, so pretty awesome pickup. And another stadium club, this is the black and white variation of Aaron Judge. So that is the base image. I think we just showed a minute ago the uh, short print image. This is just the base image, but this is the black and white variation. It's not numbered, but uh, yeah, that is the a lower print run of those. And then a few more stadium club pickups. Uh, these are all Tatis rookies. So we've got three of just the base Tatis rookie. Uh, and then two of the red foil. So not numbered, but uh, you know, a little shorter print, a little harder to get the red foil than the base, but uh, gorgeous cards. And uh, yeah, this guy probably a uh, shoe in for rookie of the year if Pete Alonso wasn't killing it how he is. And then uh, here's Vlad Guerrero's uh, Stadium Club rookie. So great picture of him smiling. Gorgeous looking card. And then this is just the trout, uh, just the base trout, but, you know, always uh, good to get a trout. And I think I got this in a lot with one of these other cards. So, yeah, pretty excited to have that. Another rookie, uh, Pete Alonzo. This is the Topps Museum collection. So that's just the base rookie for Pete Alonzo. Good looking card. And then uh, some heritage pickups. So as I've uh, mentioned in other videos, the red heritage autos are something that I collect as many as I can each year. I did not have this one, Wilson Contreras, uh, starting catcher for the NL All-Star team this year. So this is a gorgeous looking card, numbered 41 out of 70. 
And uh, in that nice red auto, so it's 2019. So yeah, gorgeous car, great. glad to add that to the collection. Uh, a couple more Heritage 19 pickups. This is the Black Chrome Refractor of Juan Soto. So this is numbered out of 70, I believe. Yep, number 15 out of 70. Um, you know, right next to the red autos in Heritage, the black chromes are also my favorite pickups for that year as well. And uh, so really excited to add this one. And then a few more Heritage pickups. I uh, got most of these in a single lot as well. Um, so these are a lot of the action and short print variations for this year. So there is the Javi Baez action variation. So it does say action right there under the number. And then this is just the uh, short print standard base of uh, Javi Baez, but it is a short print. Anything I believe over 400 is a short print. You can tell it's got the uh, different code at the bottom. So 112 is the code for the short print. So that's the Javi Baez short print. There's the Albies action variation, the Juan Soto action variation, Bregman action variation, Michael Kopech rookie action variation. Even though he's actually not doing anything, this looks like a base. This is the action variation. Mookie Betts action variation, Aaron Judge, and Christian Yelich, all action variations. Uh, then picked up a couple of these Mike Trouts. These Mike Trouts is just the base. It is a short print because it is over number 400. So these are both ending in that 112 on the code there on the bottom. Um, but these cards are just selling for huge amounts. And, uh, you know, they're not, they're pretty cheap to pick up. You know, you can usually pick them up seven or eight bucks. And if these things grade as a, as a 10, they're going for 50 to 60 bucks. And uh, just love having base Trouts because they, they always sell well. And so we'll grade those and see how they go. I actually did pick up a 10 uh, myself this week, and we'll show that it's in some of these slabs. Um, then here's a base Acuna, also considered a short print because it is over number 500, and this is the Acuna cloth sticker. I believe these are only in retail packs, if I'm not mistaken. Um, they don't have any real backing on them, but it is a cloth sticker and uh, of Acuna. Uh, a few more pickups. These are all uh, the new... Uh, Bowman Platinum that was released just a few weeks ago. So there's Alonzo, Pete Alonzo rookie. I always try to pick up the base rookies or prospects. In this case, Wander Franco. Great looking card there. Vlad Guerrero. Eloy Jimenez. And then some of the big stars. These are all uh, image variations. So that's Acuna, image variation. Yelich. Otani. Image variation, and then I actually was able to pick up three of these Mike Trout uh, Bowman Platinum image variations. So really excited to to get those. Uh, some Tops Finest. This is uh, Vlad Guerrero's just base rookie Tops Finest. I did not have any of these Bellinger. I had a lot of Bellinger rookies, but I did not have this base Tops Chrome rookie. And this is a super hot card right now, so I was able to pick up two of them. Uh, these aren't any sort of refractor variations. These are just the base, HMT number 10, both of them. But gorgeous looking cards. Um, I think these will grade very well. So I'm going to send both of these off and uh, see how they do. And Bellage, or excuse me, Bellinger. Bellage, Bellinger having a great year. Uh, a couple more Brandon Lowe rookies. Uh, these are 2019 Gypsy Queen. So we've got the black and white variation, and this is numbered out of 50. So this is number 23 out of 50. And then this is the uh, missing nameplate variation. So there's no name down here like you'd see on this one. This is the missing nameplate variation of uh, Brandon Lowe. And then we've got some top living pickups that came in this week. Uh, George Springer, great season. Uh, Kristen Stewart. Picked up a few of the Trouts. Always grabbing as many Trouts as I can. Rod Carew, Michael Chavis, uh, Hinjin Roo, Austin Riley. And then uh, picked up a couple of the checklists. So this is checklist 1 through 100 and 101 through 200. So, yeah, just thought those were interesting that they're doing a checklist on them. So wanted to pick up one of each. Now on to some of the bigger pickups. These are the autos that I picked up this week. Um, so... Josh Bell, this is his uh, first Bowman Chrome Auto. I believe this is 2012. Yeah, 2012. 
Um, so really excited to pick this one up. Did not have this card. I always like to have uh, Star's uh, first Bowman Chrome Auto. And so this was a great, great pickup. Got it fairly cheap. Definitely going to send this one off to get graded. But uh, gorgeous auto there. And uh, Bell just having a great year. So, yeah, really excited to pick that one up. A couple more pickups. These are 2019 Bowman Chromes. Uh, so we got the uh, Victor Victor Mesa. This is the Refractor. So that is number 361 out of 499. Uh, great looking card. Great prospect there. And then another uh, Pirates prospect, Cal Mitchell. This is the uh, Green Shimmer, I believe, or Green Wave. I can't remember exactly what they're calling it right now. This is number 76 out of 99. And I think it's Shimmer, Green Shimmer. Uh, but yeah, good looking card. Another uh, prospect. Got this one fairly cheap. And uh, so we'll hold on to this one and see how Cal Mitchell kind of uh, pans out. But uh, doing pretty well so far. And then a few Tops Finest pickups, autos. This is just a base Aaron Judge uh, auto, Tops Finest. Just a good looking card. Really like this one. This is the Pete Alonzo rookie. This is the blue refractor. So that is number 100 out of 150. Uh, yeah, just a gorgeous card. Hopefully that one grades pretty well. Uh, Jeff McNeil, rookie, Tops Finest Auto. This is the Green Wave. Um, so that is numbered 15 out of 99. And uh, yeah, just killing it. I think he's, if not leading the uh, NL batting average right near the top, but a uh, great rookie campaign. And so, yeah, picked up that auto for him. A couple Brandon Lowe, Tops Finest Autos. Got the Green Wave for Brandon Lowe. And uh, that is numbered... 79 out of 99. Yep, good looking card. And also was able to pick up the orange uh, wave. I think it's wave. It's either wave or shimmer. I can't remember exactly what they're calling it here, but this is number one out of 25. So gorgeous looking card. Like I said, he's having a great rookie campaign, so we'll see if he ends up getting a rookie of the year or not. Got another Bryant. Got to have my mandatory Chris Bryant cards in here. Uh, so got his 2019 orange uh, wave or shimmer uh, uh, refractor auto so that is number two out of 25 also got the soto same thing orange wave or shimmer and this is number 14 out of 25 so good looking card auto is a little smeared or a little streaky but still good looking card and then the last raw pickup of the last few weeks is this Bregman Orange Refractor Top's Finest Auto. So this one numbered uh, 5 out of 25. Uh, this is just the regular Orange Refractor, not Wave or Shimmer. But gorgeous card. Glad to pick all these up. So those are all the raw cards I picked up this week. And then just a few slabs and a few redemptions came back in. Uh, I got this one. This is a redemption that came back. Jonathan, I always forget how to pronounce it. I think it's... Lo, Lo Siega, um, but he's a Yankees pitcher prospect. Uh, this is a great first Bowman to uh, pick up. So got this pretty cheap. I think I got this for oh, maybe got the redemption for like 13 or 14 bucks. And uh, so it just came back in and uh, yeah, really excited to get that. Another big, huge auto redemption pickup, this Juan Soto. This is the 2019 Heritage red auto so this is numbered out of 70 number 11 out of 70 so just got this one in definitely sending this one out glad to add this to the heritage red auto collection so super stoked to get that one and then another one this is the 2019 gypsy queen uh vlad guerrero jr indigo rookie auto so this is numbered out of 150 so 49 out of 150 yeah, had this redemption card in for months and months, uh, but this just came back like a week ago. So good looking card. Uh, we'll see how it grades. I mean, this you can tell just right off the bat, it's a little off centered. And even though it's never been out of this sleeve, that top left corner is still a little dinged, but yeah, it's what you get sometimes, but still good looking card. And then some slab pickups over the last couple weeks. Uh, Troy Palomalu, this is his 2003 finest rookie. Uh, so PSA 10, gorgeous looking card. Glad to pick this up. Uh, Hall of Famer here, or future Hall of Famer. Um, but uh, great looking card. Love these rookie cards, and uh, Paul Malo is just so fun to watch. 
Uh, another rookie pickup here, football. Uh, it's the 2001 Upper Deck Vintage, Ladanian Tomlinson, PSA 10. So that is uh, one of his uh, just base rookie cards, but gorgeous looking card. Uh, Bowman Chrome 2018, uh, just, just a base rookie for Bakuna. I did not have this in a 10. I had a few 9s. Uh, I sent a few off to get graded, and all of them came back in 9. So uh, really excited to get this in a 10 and actually end up selling all the 9s. But, yeah, good-looking card. Glad to add that to the collection. Uh, a couple Otani rookies, PSA 10s. Got the 2018 Stadium Club and the uh, 2018 Tops Living, both uh, PSA 10. So really excited to, to add those cards to the collection. Another addition to the Heritage Red Auto, Trey Mancini. Uh, this is last year's 2018 Heritage, but this is the uh, real one, Red Auto. Uh, so number 19 out of 69. And uh, yeah, did not have this one, so got it uh, slabbed in a 9.5, really cheap. And so yeah, wanted to add that to the collection. A few more slab pickups. Uh, like I said, I got this 2019 Heritage Mike Trout. This is the short print. PSA 10. Great card. Uh, Bregman Rookie Heritage uh, 2017. Alex Bregman with that nice rookie cup. Uh, PSA 10. Love this card. 2015 Topps Chrome Carlos Correa. Um, I had this card in a 9. I've had it for a while. Uh, but I really wanted to upgrade it to a 10 and saw this one pop up at a decent price and couldn't pass up on it, so glad to uh, upgrade this one. It's a PSA 10 of uh, Carlos Correa, his top Chrome rookie. Probably one of the bigger pickups I've made in a while. 1990 Tops, Ken Griffey Jr. Tops. This is the uh, PSA 10 rookie cup. Uh, just a gorgeous card. Once again, I had this in a 9. Always wanted to upgrade it to a 10, and so really excited. Those little smudges, those are actually on the case, not the card. But uh, good looking, good looking card. And then uh, one of the guys who I just think is going to keep going up picked up a few of these Guyanis rookies. So this is the uh, 2013 Hoops uh, Guyanis rookie card, PSA 10. 2013 Panini Prestige Guyanis, PSA 10. Gorgeous looking card. Uh, then these ones are in Beckett 95 slabs. Here's the 2013 Select Guyanis. 9.5. And the last pickup of the week, uh, SP Authentic 2013 Guyanis 9.5 uh, rookie card. And I already had the uh, Prism rookie card as well in a 9.5 that uh, I picked up about a year and a half ago. But wanted to get the rest of these uh, just base rookies. You know, I don't really get into these super high-end uh, basketball cards. I just like the base rookies. And so I think these are only going to continue to go up. The guy's really young. I think he's, what, like 24 years old. So uh, he's got an exciting, huge future. And so to pick these up, all of them were less than 100 bucks, And uh, so I was pretty excited to, to get those because I only think they're going to continue to go up. Anyway, guys, those were all the pickups this week. Um, go ahead and leave me a comment below. Let me know what, uh, what you thought, what your favorite card was. And uh, if you liked the video, please uh, hit that like button and subscribe if you're enjoying the content. And we'll catch up with you guys next time. Thanks.